Hello there and welcome back. Today we're going to create some quick procedural rocks with Maya using Bifrost. Just a quick note to let you know that I open up a Patreon where you'll be able to download most of the scene files from my videos and also a version of the tutorials without the time lapse, just in case you really want to follow along. So let's start by creating a sphere in the graph and give it some subdivisions. It's a bit on the dense side, but we can always remesh it later. So the main component of this setup is the whirly noise from Val Allen compounds, which you can download from GitHub. Check the link in the description if you don't have it yet. You want to connect it to a displace points and as you can see, this will help us to create the planes of the rock by changing the frequency to a lower value and play with the magnitude. In order to have a more plausible shape, we need to scale it a bit. And for that, we use a transform points with a SRT to matrix node connected. Then just play with the scale attributes, in this case I am stretching in the Z axis. To have a bit more detail, we can add to the initial noise a fractal with a low frequency. Rocks come in all shapes and sizes, so we don't need to be very precise. Let me just test how the turbulence noise works for the secondary details instead of the fractal. Here we will need a conversion node from vector tree to scalar and I believe it works better. Then it's a matter of playing with the different seeds, mainly the whirly, to get the shape we like. Now we will convert the graph to a Maya mesh, so we can take care of the UVs and do some texturing. So I ended up creating 5 different rocks with the same setup, also did some basic UVs and created a material with some textures from Megascans. Ok, we're done with the initial setup and as a bonus I am going to show you how I did the scattering. I am using the custom scatter I created, it's free and it works well for most scenes. Just making sure I have the objects to scatter in the center of the world otherwise we might run into issues. We want to start by setting up the scale and set the scatter mode to random, so it's not so uniform, but still looks like we can add a bit more life to it. So for that let's take advantage of a new feature added to the last custom scatter update, the use noise. Here you can plug any noise to break up the scattering. In this case I am going to use a simple fractal, just playing with the seed till I get a nice result. And it does look a bit more natural this way. I am going to scatter again some more medium and small sized rocks, just following the same we've done so far. Finally, we can add some grass to the scene to break up the rock pattern. If you have some rocks on top of each other, you can use the call overlapping attribute to avoid that. Finally, don't forget to add the result to the final part of the terminal and also if you're using displacement on your geometry, you can add the normal mesh settings to set the displacement and subdivision attributes. And this is the render I did on my original setup. As you saw the rock generation it's pretty easy to do and I'm sure you can come up with different ideas and shapes. Let me know what you guys think and you can download the scene and watch a version without time lapse on my Patreon. Thank you and see you in the next one.